Hello everyone! This is, while it is empty, card game opening! Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. This is the While It Is Empty Booster Pack Opening Series. I am your host, The Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. Well, they've done it again. The Pokemon Company has released another set of Pokemon trading cards. This time based on the Pokemon uh, in the end game of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. The Paradox Pokemon from the past, from Pokemon Scarlet, and the, po and the Paradox Pokemon from the future, from Pokemon Violet. But I got a little funny story about uh, how I got here today. Uh, you know, I was just sitting in my normal recording setup. This is a little bit different for me because I uh, s strange portal opened up and I found myself in this other recording setup. Not quite as front-facing camera as I'm used to, but I'm here now and I guess this is what we're gonna do. Lest some unforeseen circumstance send me back to whence I came. Oh goodness, is that a portal? Well, that was weird. Hey everyone, it's Watson. We're here on Collecting and Coffee, my YouTube channel where we open trading cards mostly. And we've got another set of trading cards to open here today. Um, last time we had a little bit of preamble because there was a lot of promos to go through with all the Pokemon 151 sets. But today, we do not have that. We've just got 36 packs of Pokemon. Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift to go through, which is two more packs than we had last time. So, without further ado, let's just start getting into them. Now, I played through Scarlet and Violet. I didn't really get much further past the end of the story, though. Um, the game's kind of kind of jank, and I'm not really into really going out and completing the Paldean Pokedex. So, having the cards here to look at or pretty much my entire what's my entire experience is going to be with these Paradox Pokemon, more or less. All right, we've got a Galvantula. We've got a Mantic, a Pansage, a Minin, Iron Bundle, one of the Pokemon uh, Violet, Paradox Pokemon, Pharaoh Thorn, Cursed Duster, Strange, Wimpod in reverse, a Natu in reverse, and then this Pathro with a trainer on it. I'm pretty much going into these packs blind. I don't know what uh, the cards are in here. I don't do the Japanese releases, just do English. So I am not sure at all what's in here. Which makes it all the more exciting. Tandem Mouse, Toad's Cool, Toxel with the little Play Doh model, Spinda, Ambipom, Snorlax Doll. Oh, look at that. Is this like. This looks like it might be some sort of substitute kind of thing. Tinkaton. Vanillish, reverse, Norman, reverse, the best, well, I, I don't know, not the best, but he is your dad in my favorite Pokemon games, and then we've also got Low Kicks. I'm getting a little better at opening Pokemon packs now, too. Hopefully this won't have a whole bunch more struggle bus like last time. We've got a Snow Runt, a Necklace Stack, Plusle, Dotler, or Beetle, Cloth, Luxurious Cape, okay. All right, Nackley in reverse, Fue Coco in reverse, staying dry, getting out of the rain, and an Eveltal. Hmm. Seems to be pretty normal for Pokemon just to throw in legendary Pokemon as just like the regular rares. It's pretty cool. Honestly, it wouldn't. No need to save them for upper rarities. Nimble, Elekid, Vanillish, Onyx, Durant. Earthen Vessel, Medical Energy, so I said that really weird, Pumpkaboo, it's, oh, oh my god, oh, look at the, oh, it's so adorable, if it weren't for, like, this, Yamper's probably, <laughs> hey, future editing Watson here, I think what my stuffed up oxygen deprived brain is trying to say is this Joltik looks like it's probably munching off the static electricity that the Yamper is producing. And then Iron Moth. Very good. Looks like we're gonna have to grab a sleeve for this Joltik there though. Yes, we'll put it in a sleeve. 
And, of course, a hard case as well. Ooh, there we go. And we'll see what's inside without throwing the cards everywhere. Keep putting these code cards up in the corner so you y'all can have them. Toxel, Lipard, Wimpod, Elekid, Cyclazar, Simiseer, Crobat, Techno Radar Reverse. This this reverse looks really slick. Most of these other reverses aren't quite this reflective. Oricorio in uh, Electric Oricorio Reverse and Wo Chien. The art in this in this set is really clean. I have not seen anything that's so far that I'm like, ugh, that's ugly looking. I mean, I'm, we're not even close to halfway through here, but still, I am liking what we're seeing here. All right, we got this Tinka Tink, Sharkadet, Flittle, Trubbish, Steamy, Gliscor, Absol. Look, it's like an etched style. You remember? Maybe I'm just really old, but do, there's this um, 1-800 thing where you would call in and order this like paper that you would scratch through that's what uh to, and there'd be like rainbow stuff underneath it i don't remember what it was called oh i can't stand it oh my gosh look at that it would play all the time on like all the kids channels this style kind of looks like they used something similar to that just the way that all the the rainbowness of the of all the 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 strokes the line, the line art here. Obviously, that's probably not how they did it. They probably did it digitally. But uh, we also got a Panseer, uh, TM Evolution. Well, yeah. See, this, that other um, Reverse Trainer didn't have all this extra pattern on it. I, I think I prefer the other one. And then also a Kingdra with a really prominent print line right through its neck. Okay. So, um, I haven't been making note of who's on the packs, but this pack front's got a Garchomp with a terrestrialized water typing on it. Whoop. Oh, shoot. Might have damaged some cards here. Hoping there's nothing good in there. Tink Tough again. Trubbish. Crustle. Onyx. Rourke. Minior, a uh, Pokemon that I didn't know was real, even after playing through Sun and Moon, but I just, it does not look, it looks fake. But I mean, a lot of Sun and Moon Pokemon also look fake. This art, however, is very nice. I enjoy this, like, um, one of the Mob Psycho 100 uh, posters for, I think it was like the first uh, season of that. We got Simipore, Toad School, Garganackle reverse and a Steelix with okay there's just another print line it's like in the same spot as the Kingdra too it's probably like the same sheet of hollow foil that they came off of this pack's got uh, uh mech robot Gallade on it you think I know what it's called I don't um I, I could I could find out though what's it What's it called? Um, it doesn't even say on the ETB? Okay. Um, that's fun. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm not opening this today. That's for me. For later. In here we've got a Gimme Ghoul, a Wiglet, the very phallic looking Wiglet. Uh, Jirachi! Uh, just a common Jirachi? Okay. That's... It's fine by me, Knackley. Simi Sage, Norman again. Orthworm, being a lazy little thing there. Gorgeist, this, oh man, it's very spooky. It's got like uh, these flames coming off of its hair hands. A Gimme Ghoul again. Multiple arts for these Pokemon here, but this one's got a pretty nasty smudge on the numbers. And Chien Pao, all these with the same print line again. Let's open this pack with uh, Roaring Moon. I know that one's name. Here's that code card that I've been uh, not really showing off consistently. We've got this Flittle, a Nickit, a Knackly again, a Nimble, Zepstrika, really clean, thick lines on this guy, Crocolore, just little tubby little egg thing, uh, Ambipom, 
Chi Yu reverse hollow. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, get at uh, yeah, Deoxys, okay, whatever. Oh, whoa, whoa, sick. The patterning on this. Oh my god. Okay, well, obviously, we gotta sleeve this guy up. Man, the gold rare from the last pack didn't wasn't really worth too much. I don't know why. Maybe this one isn't worth too much either, but I don't care. Look at that. It's centered pretty well, too. The corners look nice. Oh, man. Ah, yes. Already starting off really strong. But we've got uh, this Armor Rouge pack here next. Let's see what we got in here. Um, we've got, uh, a woman with, uh, with a parasol. It's very nondescript. Hey, maybe we should do the code card first, be a little bit more consistent. Okay, parasol lady. She's, uh, the lady with the parasol. Just random trainer, I'm assuming. Porygon 2. Really getting digitized with it. Very 90s. Oh, look at that little toy model octillery. Like, actually sitting on a rock. Just like it's, a. Uh, Toho film opening. Uh, Golbat. Uh, Toad's Cruel. Screamtail. I love the distinction they're making for the Paradox Pokemon here with this half of the, um, the card being, uh, representative of what part of time they're coming from. Technical Machine D... De dev... Dev... Devolution? Dev... Devolution? Devolution? I don't know. Flittle. Surskit. Cofagrigus EX! Nice! It's a little shadowing of the hands coming off of him. He's upside down. I don't- I still don't care for this Starfoil stuff, but it's- you know, I, I guess I'm supposed to count those as the hits as well. I haven't really been when I'm doing the end title stuff, you know, with the end cards. But maybe, maybe I'll start doing that. This pack's got uh, another Garchomp on it. Ooh, uh, you mask? It's a new one, I believe to go with that Cofagris, Cof, uh, from the other one. Spinda, with a dot pattern of, similar to one that I'd probably go for. Uh, Tink-a-Tink, Tandem Mouse, separate art from the other Tandem Mouse from earlier. Another Snorlax doll, Tink-a-Ton, I've seen that before. Doriant, there's a lot of Doriants in the Pokemon card game, it seems like. Elekid Reverse, Wug Trio, and Groudon, with a prominent print line. Oh, yeah, code card again, sorry. This box has been pretty nasty with that print line through my hollows. Not huge on it, but I mean, it's not like those are the money cards anyway, you know? I don't think I'm even looking to master set this one like I kinda am with uh, Pokemon 151. Here's Larry, the salary man who just looks fed up with life, and he's so... So very relatable. Yamask, Surskit, Wismer, Exploud. Pretty crazy if there was a Loudred in this one too. Mela, the Fire uh, Team Star Lady, Slitherwing, Volcarona, a uh, Paradox Pokemon from the past this time. Another Zebstrika, but this time in reverse. A Snorlax doll this time in reverse. And Iron Jugulus. And finally, we got a rare without, well, just kind of the end of the print line, it looks like. I haven't seen, uh, the Gallade thing. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it could show up so I could figure out what it's called. Here's that code card. A Dwebble, a Wismer, a Dewblade, a Surskit, an Earthen Vessel, Medical Energy, Steeny, Mianfu, Panpour, and Zacian. Still putting out the Sword and Shield legendaries, even though we're past that now. I mean, from all the videos I've seen of all the Tapus still hanging around in the Pokemon TCG, that's... I mean, it's not, uh, clearly not a new precedent to keep the last legendaries that were very, very prominent. Flamigo. There's been... It seems like there's been a Flamigo in every pack, but I, I have not pulled too many, even though they're just commons. Porygon, Seedra, Magby, Gorgeist, Tatsugiri, Vanillux, Seedra Reverse, Screamtail Reverse, again with this nicer reverse about the pattering on it, just the foil, and oh, Professor Sadla's, uh, sorry, Professor Sadla's Vitality. 
These textured cards are always super cool. Now I didn't, I got Pokemon Violet, so I'm not as attached to the characters from that one. Um, but uh, he, I really only chose it for the box art Pokemon. If I had looked into anything else, the ancient Pokemon, the, the hot professor, I would have gone with Scarlet instead. We gotta make sure that we take care of our professor here. Look at that. I'm getting good at this. Or the packs are getting inconsistent. Who knows? There's a code card up in the corner of the screen for ya. A Magby, a Flamigo, Porygon, Oricorio, Gliscor, Absol, Simi Sage, Gliscor Reverse. It's the same. Tinkaton Reverse and Volcanion. There's just so many legendaries in the regular rare slots. I mean, it's not like Yu-Gi-Oh, where there's a whole bunch of different rares and not a whole lot of, like, repeats. Most of the extra special rares and, I mean, like, all the extra special rares in these Pokemon packs have been just, uh, different art of other cards in the pack. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm really trying to say here. Vanillite, Oricorio, Swablu, Panseer, Defiance Vest, Veluza, Technical Machine, Turbo, Energize, Dual Blade, Reverse, Beluza full art. Oh man, look, 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 look. Wow. It's like a chalk or crayon kind of texturing on the art, on the, the, the line art here. It's like just a school of these barracudas going after this star you, maybe, or the star you's running away. It's not, not super clear, but it's shredding itself getting ready to speed up and get its meal, I think. And also there's a Zatu back here, but I don't care. I prefer the big fish, the real big fish. If I had a chance to sell out, you know I would. This is a Roaring Moon pack. It's got a Toad's Cruel, Toad's Cool as the front card there. There is a code card. Toad School Vanillite, Shark Cadet, Swab Blue, Norman, Orthworm, Toad Scroll, Pharaoh Seed, Reverse Hollow, Terrace Duster, Reverse Hollow, and another legendary rare. So seeing as I've gone into this blind, I don't know what the super extra special like uh, art rares are. And that's also why I haven't gone into either of the elite trainer boxes I've got sitting next to me. Ah, uh, Blip Bug. That's the first Blip Bug we've seen. Boy Coco, Wug Trio, Tech TM, Iron Bundle, Nimble, Porygon 2 Reverse, Toxtricity EX is a fighting? Whew. This one, why is, this one doesn't have the Starfoil on it. Is it just because it's Terrastalized? Is that the, that the distinction between the two? Because hell, yeah, this looks so much better. They kind of like texturing the, uh, terrestrialization part up here, just like it's a, a cut gem. I mean, oh, we gotta put Toxtricity here in a sleeve in a hard case. This is what I've been missing out on, on the terrestrialization. Um, EX cards, because good man, this looks so good. All right, that's halfway. And now we've got another Garchomp pack. Maybe we'll see that Garchomp EX somewhere in this little booster box, y'all. Yeah? Here's that code card up in the corner with the rest of them. Octillery, Golbat, Larry, Yamask, Crocolore, Technical Machine Evolution, uh, Vanillux, Volcanion Reverse, Toad's Cool Reverse, and okay, yeah, right into another the Frostlass, Terrastalize EX as a grass type. Ah. <laughs> uh, I probably should have ordered a booster box for my first Pokemon opening, because this is blowing that one singular ETB right out of the water. We're, ah, oh, it's, holy cow. This looks so good. What's the point of even having an EX Pokemon that doesn't have the terrestrialized effect on it? It looks infinitely worse. So bad, okay. 
in comparison anyway we got the texturing on here and you know it's just it's kind of just what it is it's better it's just it looks better it's just, it's just what it is it looks better we can't have too much more in this box we've already gotten so much good stuff well let's let's take a look let's take let's take a little peeky poo what we got in the rest of these we got an oricorio uh toad school vanillite charcadet Professor Turo's scenario. I mean, just look at him. He's just, he's so boring and normal. Especially when you compare to just the vitality and wild nature of Professor Sada. Better. Better, better, better woman than this boring, boring, clean man. Um, anyway, me and Xiao. Rika, Boon Sweet Reverse, Mantike Reverse, and. Another rare that's just a legendary. Palkia this time. Oh, maybe this half of the box is going to be more difficult to open. But in this pack, we've got this code card. It's up here in the corner of the screen. And then we have Surskit, Whismer, Flamigo, Porygon, Defiance Vest, Durant, Technical Machine Turbo Energize, Gimme Ghoul Reverse, Garbodor Reverse, and a duplicate of this Zekrom here. Is... Loudred gonna end up being like the Pidgeotto from Pokemon 151. I opened so many more packs of that after I did that last video, and I only just yesterday finally opened a Pidgeotto. After having probably close to doubling my initial 34 packs. It's so dumb that a common has eluded me for that long. Swablu, Panseer, Wiglet, Gligar, Gorgeist, Professor Sada's Vitality. Uh, yet the, uh, the full art version looks way better. What's she even doing? What's she looking at? Why she... Look at me. Notice me, Senpai. Tatsugiri, Plusle Reverse, Deoxys Reverse, and a Volcanion. But with that Pidgeotto, I do finally have all the commons. Though I am still missing, uh, Dugong and a Hitmonchan. Regular uncommon. I have both in reverse. I have neither as the non hollow version. Cedra Magby, Vanillite, Oricorio, Wugtrio, Techno Radar, Steeny, Ting Lu, Reverse, Zubat, a Reverse, and HU as a regular hollow. Here is that code card. Alright, I'm curious. How many of these have not been legendaries? Okay, so I guess I guess it's kind of it's there's a pretty even split here, I suppose. Still, it just seems like there's so many of these legendaries that are the regular rares here, as opposed to all these other ones. I mean, I wouldn't consider the Paradox Pokemon legendaries, considering how many of them are just kind of roaming around the big crater. In this really nicely opening uh, Pokemon Robot Gallade pack. We have a blip bug, but we also have a code card that's up in the corner there. A blip bug, Fuecoco, Snow. That is that. I don't remember seeing this before. I love this art. I mean, Snow Runs from my favorite generation of Pokemon, obviously. But this art here is so nice. It's just the the lighting effects on it, the, the color palette they chose. Mm, it's so nice looking. Hone Edge, with his clean clean line art here in this. I don't know where he is. Kind of looks like, um, I'm gonna show my weeb side here. There's a uh, mecha anime called Star Driver. I think that's what it's called, where all the mechas just kind of exist in this just empty, cloudy space. It kind of looks like where they're at. Or maybe, maybe like, um, the, the fights in, uh, Revolutionary Girl Utena. Kind of same kind of deal here. It's probably more what they were going for. But I mean, both of those shows have a lot of sword fights in them. A Dondozo is uncommon. First time we've seen another one of these big boys. Tulip, who are who are you? I don't know that I've ever seen you before. Yes, I forgot who the psychic gym leader was because I only have eyes for Dendro. Uh, Veluza, the regular one. Dotler, Counter Catcher, and Aegislash. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got in this Roaring Moon pack? Well, we definitely have a code card. But we also have a Swablu, a Panseer, a Nicket, a Gligar, a Counter Catcher, an Absol, a Masquerain, a Joltik, Reverse Hollow, a Whismer, 
Reverse Hollow, and a Team Blue. Another Legendary Rare. And yet, still, no Loud Dread. That dumb speaker box, excellent scene from Detective Pikachu does not want to show up for me in these packs. Here's a code card. Horsey, another Pokemon that eluded me in the Pokemon 151 video. Joltik, I didn't comment on it before, but I really enjoy this brushstroke kind of art we've got here on the regular looking Joltik. We've got a Natu, Remoraid, Chantal. I believe she... Is she Elite Four or is she a gym leader? I don't remember. Garbodor, Future Booster Energy Capsule. Here's that phallic wig that it again. Mine in reverse. Iron Hands EX. Yeah, uh, well, you know, it's got the Starfoil on it. Like uh, the uh, Iron Treads EX I got in that uh, ETB. But all the same, we're going to put him in this little sleeve and set him to the side with the other hits. Well, we haven't seen any, like, special art rares. We got one of the gold rares, which. What is my luck with that? We haven't seen any of the regular old full art EXs outside from that one. I mean, it's the regular ones, you know, not the, the gold ones. For Coco, Hone Edge, different art, Hone Edge this time, Dwebble. Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Orthworm, Professor Turo's Scenario, Vanillite, Reverse, Toad Scroll, full art. Ah, uh, yeah, well, we're, we're gonna take that one. We'll take it right to the bank on Galissapod. This. Toad scroll. There's so many of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Toad scroll crammed. Well, I'm not crammed. They've got a lot of space. They. This is, this is a nice habitat for them to live on this one little piece of cardboard here. So let's make sure that they don't get out and give them a nice little home behind glass. Like a good zoo. Yeah, just a bunch of regular art rares. Not a whole lot of, I mean, a whole lot. Not any special art rares yet. Here's that code card. Pumpkaboo, Zubat, Gimme Ghoul, Purloin, Screamtail, Iron Bundle, Ferrothorn, Golbat, in reverse. Tinka Tink in reverse, and Milotic. Ooh. Man, the lighting on this one, too. This really pops. This just. Ah. Something glowing down there on the ocean floor, putting the light up on the... That's so interesting looking. Welcome to Watson Appreciates Art. Let's see what's on the inside. Uh, we've got this code card. And then another horsey. Another jewel tick. Lab Here he is. Ladred's not going to stay away from us too long. You know... He could have, though, because between the other two guys, this Loud Red looks decidedly worse than Whismer and Expeloud in the art. Remoraid, Mian Xiao, Rika, Gorgeist, Swablu Reverse, Wo Chien Reverse, and Brute Bonnet. And we got an Armor Rouge pack. And in this, whoop, in this Armor Rouge pack, we have 10 more cards to take a little peek at. First of all, one of them has a code card. I don't believe that counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, the code card obviously doesn't count, but the energy also doesn't count. So, me and Fu, Ferrosteed, Gibble, Panpour, Cursed, Duster, Orbeetle, Cloth, Morapeko, Reverse Hollow, in his grumpy form, he's so hangry, Feebass, looking real nervous. Kind of reminds me of that uh, the scene in Sword in the Stone, and Azatu, Garchomp pack. In this Garchomp pack, code card, Pumpkaboo, Zubat, Natu, Purloin, Professor Sada's Vitality, Tatsugiri, Dondozo, right next to each other, a couple of good friends just hanging out, Tinkatuff, Crustle, and Garganackle. We're getting close to the end here. We're getting down to our last five packs. And then this first one, we've got this guy who, I don't know his name, but we can open his pack really nice, really nice and slick. And then we can throw the wrappers somewhere else. 
And then we can show off the code card, and then we can look at this Blitzel, who's got the similar art style to the Absol. Oh my gosh! And then we got a Boon Suite, just kind of hanging around in the lobby of the school in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, we got that Feebas, we got Napalm holding an apple in his big old tail hand. We got a Luxurious Cape, which... Is that supposed to be like the Leo's Cape from Pokemon, um... Sword and Shield? Who knows? Cyclozar in this painted style. Simiseer, Onyx Reverse, Blitzel Reverse. Again, same artwork as the card on the front. And then a Cofagrigus EX, full art. Like, just like I was asking for. I think I would have liked to see a different Pokemon uh, than one we had already gotten. But at the same time, I love the texturing on here. I don't know if it's coming up on the screen, but it's like this wiggly, wiggly, nasty malaise coming off of this ghostly uh, coffin. Sarcophagus is the word I was looking for. Both words are kind of what they're playing off in its name. This is a good looking card. Let's give it a home. And by home, I mean let's trap it. Let's seal it away. Let's seal away this nasty old ghost in a couple of protective layers. The next pack we have here, we're gonna rip it open. We're gonna throw the wrapper away. We're gonna give you the code card so you can use it for your own purposes on the Pokemon TCG Online game that I do not play. Mian Fu, Pharaoh Seed, Gibble, Panpour, Tulip, again, who is she? Veluza, Chantal, Tinkatink. In reverse hollow, Parasol Lady in reverse hollow, and Alatios as a normal rare. Just, they want to give us so many legendaries in this pack. I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. I, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining about it. Why would I, I I'm not complaining. Why, why would you think I'm complaining? Here's the code card. Uh, Pansage Mantike, Gibite. We've seen Gibble, we've seen Gibite. We have not obviously seen Garchomp because it's one of the EX Pokemon, and EX Pokemon are difficult to come by, comparatively, anyway. Let's take a look at this Garchomp pack. Maybe we'll find that Garchomp in here. Who knows? Well, we've got a we've got that cold card. <laughs> Blitz all being sweet, Phoenix, a pound, Gabby Doer, Fuji, me, the Captain Scream Tail, Pearl in reverse, me and Tank reverse. Serena EX, though, I, 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 look, okay, that wasn't the guard job I wanted, but another nice looking EX card. It's gonna be something we take care of, that is for sure. A little help from my hard case friend. Well, we're down to our final pack. One last pack. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Paradox Rift with his Pokemon on the front. That's name, I still don't know. So let's just get into it. Enlighten me, Pokemon pack. Who are you? What is your name? Who, when they take the census, what do you put down? When you do your taxes, what's the name that you've got? What does it say on your driver's license? Behind this Zatu could be something really neat. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what's behind. It's just a hone edge. Um, so, I mean, it's not, not that great. I mean, there, there could be something else behind it. Well, there is! <laughs> There's an Altaria EX. That's, uh, not bad. Not bad. Definitely a lot better than what I've been doing before. There's still a few EX cards that have evaded me in Pokemon 151. We got ourselves a pretty solid chunk of cards here, especially considering everything we've went through before. The, uh... 34 packs of 151 only got us 8 hits. Well, 10 hits. I didn't really count the other EXs. But we've already exceeded that immensely. 
But not counting that, I guess we are doing a little bit. Slightly worse. I, I mean, not that worse. Because these Terrestrialize the X cards are so cool. Terrestrialization is one of my favorite twists on the Pokemon uh, formula. It's just, it's very competitive focused and it just makes so much sense. I mean, it's way better than Gigantamaxing and Mega Evolutioning where, you know, only certain Pokemon really get the benefit of it, out of it. Yeah, we got this Cofagrigus EX, this Iron Hands EX, this Alteria EX, Toxtricity, Terrasilize EX, the uh, Frostlass Terrasilize EX, and the Serena Terra EX. We've also got the Joltik munching on the electrical uh, offerings of the Yamper, just taking a nap there. We've got this Toadscrewl and the Creepy Mushroom Forest. We've got Veluza attempting to eat this Staryu. We've got Cofagrigus. Full Art EX. We've got Professor Sandal's Vitality, or Prof Sandal, <laughs> Professor Sandal's Vital Sandal's Vitality, and Roaring Moon EX Gold Rare. It's always so cool opening these packs, seeing what's inside, and then just getting just this dopamine rush from different kind of gambling, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, I love it, though. Um, in the meantime, you could uh, like, comment, and subscribe until I put up another video in a couple weeks, and uh, we will see you then. Have a good one.